shadows bow to the rising sun By the way the ancient trackway runs Cool mist dances in the morning light And skips around the stones He walks upon the forest path The antlered one with the oaken staff Stories lie where his feet pass Among the roots and rocks Legend whispers through the leaves, visions in the sunlight weave. The waking of the day reveals where the magic lies. On the threshold between the worlds he stands, guardian. Spirits of the wild, the ancient folk who dwell beneath the leafy cloak of eucalypt, red gum, elm, and oak, and dance the shadowed pathway. Hear the dreaming lines they sing in this realm of the woodland king. You know the green man's song will bring you. Hello, everybody. <laughs> well, this is very strange for us. It's raining here like crazy in the, uh, the country of South Australia in Strathalban, a place called Williaroo, which is an Indigenous name for a place of men's business, secret men's business. Um, lots of people have logged on. We, we, can, I, we can see lots of messages coming up, but the camera's so far away that we can't actually read you at the moment. So. <laughs> But thank you for your lovely comments. We can sort of see some of them. I was just around the back having a look to make sure we were live, and we, we were, and they're lovely comments. Thank you so much. You're and we very hope generous, the sound's okay. We have no idea, really. Um, I'm just going to check up with our sound guy who's in the UK. <laughs> we, we just want to know whether we need to up, down, sideways, or do anything like that, but be polite. So we could um, almost sort of start the next one, can't we? we Between could. us, can't we? Uh, Adrian can just well, come in when she likes. I just wanted to say that um, Safi's chasing sprites in the fire. It's been raining all afternoon. We've gone into our Samhain time here in the Southern Hemisphere. And I have to say, the last few days I've really felt the change happen. Um, the veils have thinned. And I think even today being Anzac Day here 
in Australia where we remember our fallen from the, the last wars. Um, yeah, it's felt pretty powerful today. So we're going to do a, um, a Samhain song uh, written from um, the Australian Southern Hemisphere perspective. And this was written by, it was adapted from a poem actually from our friend Mike Adamson. And it's called Soul's Gateway. I'm sort of seeing lots of love hearts come up, so I'm presuming people can hear us. So. I'm just checking with our sound They're all for man. you, Nick, as well. <laughs> oh, thanks, Paul. You put them up. So yeah, Dave the Bard's me. told us that the sound's OK at the moment. Awesome. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> Thank you, our Dave. Our sound tech in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> this is Saul's Gateway.
comments popping up over there. We will reply when we get a chance, honest. So like I said, this is a first for us and this is playing safe, safe music at Safe Space. Sadly, we haven't got our drummer or our uh, bass player, Paul and Nigel, with us tonight. It's just a little bit too hard, I think, for five people at the and moment. And if they're not watching, they're sacked. <laughs> <laughs> they might be playing along. <laughs> so that was our sound song for... This Here is their in rehearsal. The <laughs> <laughs> in the southern hemisphere. Safe distance rehearsal, guys. I have to uh, lubricate my throat. So Not cheers, bad, everybody. Sow and blessings to you all here in the southern hemisphere. And to our friends in the northern hemisphere, you've got Beltane coming up. How scrummy is that? So this next song we're going to do is um, for all our Druid friends out there. And I think there's a few of you. Please forgive Safi here. She's gone a bit bonkers. And we, if you hear me scream mid-song, it's because I've been dive-bombed by a rain moth. We, when, it, when it rains up here, we get these big rain moths come out of the ground. And they've been flying around dive-bombing us. And they're quite large and beautiful. But um, they're like a bat, really. Shelter and shade
knob. Oh dear. Not good. I'm just going to check with our sound guy in the UK. <laughs> don't know why we can't set this up remotely, Dave. I really don't. <laughs> I think we're doing okay. <laughs> So, this next song um, ended up on a compilation album. Oh, <laughs> there we are, with no rehearsal at all. <laughs> on the Green Album, which was um, an idea um, by Twaftia out of um, the United States. Hi, guys, if you're watching. Um, uh, we were actually touring in the States, and, and Danny called us um, and said, I've got this idea to raise money for the Rainforest Trust. I'm going to get a uh, load of uh, our friends and bands across the world to uh, donate a track. And uh, it ended up being the Green Album. So this next song, called Spirit of the Green, is our track on that. But um, there's tracks by Twath and, and Dav the Bard and Becky Kelso and Wendy Rule and all sorts of people. So it's a great album. And I think um, yeah, 25% of, of all the proceeds from the album um, goes to the Rainforest Trust and um, they have bought areas of a rainforest in the Congo. And, um, and I forget the, the um, hectares now, but it's, it's a huge, huge area and they've bought strategically, so it's blocked the logging and things. So there's a, a natural pathway for the animals to be able to migrate to their habitat. So it's a fantastic thing. So if you haven't got a copy of the Green Album, look around for it. I think we've got a few left, have we? <laughs> Spokes. <laughs> Smoke machine Nick, going. do you realise the whole of the world is watching your dog licking her bottom at this stage? <laughs> no, they can't see that because... <laughs> but now they know about it. Thanks, there Adrian. You know. <laughs> Safi, so this is called Spirit of the Green and it kind of goes well next to the oak. <laughs> Thanks for joining us tonight. <laughs> Somebody's put up a comment. I'm not going to read it. <laughs> Deep in the soil, you watch his 
The summer king has claimed his bride, so all will be reborn. The spirit of the wildwood calls in the language of the trees. Protect the woodlands of the earth is the forest god's decree. For without the essence of the green, our world could never be. Drawing breath around us from the earth into the leaves. From soil and shoot, stem and root, by leaf and bark and limb. We keep alive the wisdom of the Lord and the Lady And the wild bird from the woodlands, he's watching from the leaves. With the forest and the hedgerows, a soft life he makes. With his feet deep in the soil. Jack are running through the woods, singing up the summertime, and you know you'll never look back when the spirit of the green will take you. Hey, yo, it's a green man, Jack are running through the woods, singing up the summertime, and you know you'll never look back when the spirit of the green will take you. Fire You're getting Nick. most of the smoke machine there, Paul. Do you want it moved? That's <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll live, it probably. It just needs to be yeah. flared up a bit, doesn't it? Right. <laughs> Do an Australian thing. Throw the caro on it. Yeah. <laughs> so like Bloody everybody all over the world, lots of things have been cancelled and our English ale, sadly, has been cancelled and um, our winter solstice. And we miss our community here very much. So we thought we'd do some... <laughs> Nicholas Nick sitting wants fires to ukuleles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't use them for firewood, but he does. Kindling, mostly. Are you okay, Paul? You are getting smoked out quite a bit, aren't you? Oh, well, right. I'll smell like a Boy Scout when I get home. <laughs> we could rub, rub two together. <laughs> Steady. <laughs> All right. Are we so um, this is a song written by a friend of ours in the United Kingdom. called um, It's called Dark Days and Haze by Andrew Miller, who is a squire of Hemlock Morris. <laughs>
mistake there. Did you see the size of that rain moth that nearly dive bombed me? <laughs> it was huge. Like a bat. Could we move that fire pit, please? I will move that fire pit. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you said it was coming from the northwest, the wind, you see. You're dead right. I shouldn't have sat here, should I? <laughs> Safi? Don't eat the moth, please. I don't know if any of you can see the size of this moth down here. What could possibly go wrong on a live feed apart from, you know, the fire needing moving? <laughs> and rain moths dive bombing. <laughs> and dogs doing what dogs do. Yeah. And alarms going off. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> so we, we got up early this morning and we watched Dave the Bard's concert. That was awesome. And lo lots of people are doing fantastic concerts. S.J. Tucker and... <laughs> Sad news folk machine, yeah. So we're hoping it works tonight and we can do another one. Actually, I'm going to go and have a look close to the screen. Smoke machine. Cheers, everybody. Oh, no, you can see me now. Yuck. You'll be able to see what Safi's doing. Poor little thing. Would you like to see a rain moth? Nick will show you. Look at the size of that baby. Some of the wildlife here that won't kill you. So, <laughs> I grew up in a, in a strict Irish Catholic family. That's why I'm so damaged, I think. No, not really. Um, and my dad was a great storyteller. And um, one of the stories he always used to read to me when I was a little girl was the children of Lear. But I always knew it was the swan children. And if any of you haven't, haven't read it, it's worth looking up. It's from the, mythologic, the Irish mythological cycle. And um, it's really, it's, it's one of probably one of the most saddest stories. <laughs> one of the most saddest stories in, in, that, in that cycle. And um, I remember as a child, like he would read it a lot and it was always really, really, just it really affected me, I think. And as I got older, I, I rediscovered it and I found out it was called The Children of Lear. So um, I felt compelled to write a song about The Children of Lear. Thanks, Nick. Okay. Shall I check the sound guy, see how we're going? He can't see He it. said, get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at their little faces. That's so cute, Dave. <laughs> Kerry, you're so cute. <laughs> so this is the children up here. Uh, two seconds.
children of Leah. That smoke likes you, Paul. It does. So, could you unmute oh. my bar and then, okay? Unmute it for a second. Do you want to do Android? So, I don't know if you feel like a dance at home, people. You could join hands with whoever there and do a bit of an Andro. With well, safe distancing. <laughs> with safe distancing, indeed. <laughs> you got some book off there. My skin's a bit flabby. <laughs> what about Boron? My Boron skin's very... Oh, it's really flabby. Look at that. Oh, it sounds like an old bag. Saffy, Saffy leave, leave that moth alone. Saffy, leave it. <laughs> like a bat. It is, if it comes to me, I'll scream. Like a sparrow. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Safi, leave it. Moth alert. Right. So, if you want to do an Andrew, you stand up together and you join pinkies. Paul and I won't touch. But we'll go like this. And your feet are going right, left, right, kick, left, right, left, kick, right, left, right, kick, left, right, left. And your hands are going ah. round Safi. and down, down and up, round and down, down and up. Right, left, right, kick, left, right, left, kick, right, yeah, yeah. So give it a go. Sappy, leave it. It's a bat. It is a bat. It's rather, rather large. I'm sure it's going to hit me in the head. So this is the Andrew.
Apologies for I hope tonight. you were dancing away. I pictured you all dancing away. Well, we were supposed to be in Tassie in July for the, for the big wash sale that, was, that happens every year. And sadly, that's another thing that's been cancelled this year. So we won't be seeing all our lovely Tasmanian family. Um, so we'll do your wassail song anyway. And I do apologise for my flabby skin. It is very, very... It's not happy in this weather. It's chucking it down out there tonight. We think the drought might be broken. Adrian's just been broken all day. Wassail, everyone. Cheers. I'm drinking beer from my own hometown, well, <laughs> near hometown, Adnams, for those that know it. Cheers from people in Suffolk. I'm just going to mute my, mute, mute my, I sounded like someone from Norwich then, didn't I? I'm going to mute my drum. Right, now you can put it down. <laughs> no offence to our gorgeous Norwich friends, but you do talk funny sometimes. <laughs> I live there. Because we don't have accents, of course, out here. So we're going to do a song. Actually, I'm going to top my glass up. Is that okay, everybody? Uh-uh. Pop to the bar, everyone. Go and fill your drinks up. Oh, dear. Really? I yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I can still see lots of likes coming up and little comments on the screen. I can't read them yet, unfortunately, because it's too far away. And he hasn't got his glasses on. Well, yeah, there <laughs> is that. Need a binoculars to see that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the screen, I mean, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. It's I mean, cold. <laughs> Did you want me to get your beer? Do you want me to go to the bar? No, I've got beer. Thank you. So this is a song that was um, it's been written by another lovely friend of ours. We're very lucky. We've got some so many talented people in our community here, and they give us songs and poems and stuff to do. Um, by the beautiful Louise Hewitt, and 
It's a song that was written about um, a dear friend of ours, Lynn Sinclair Wood, who sadly passed away a number of years ago. She was a Druid elder in our community here. And um, this was a dream Lynn had one night and she told Louise about it. And Louise wrote this song. Oh, think. Okay, here we go. Let's the try it. There. Hang on, the moth's there. Oh, is it right? Oh. <laughs> One, two, two, three, four. I've seen. I bring you my body, my voice, and my hand to keep the old magic held deep in your land. Oh, grant your own boy, Bridget, my dear. I bring you the gifts of the visions I've seen. I bring you my body, my voice, and my hand to keep the old magic held deep in your land. It came to my hearing, not so. Louise for your beautiful song. We'll do a couple more and then we'll let you do whatever you have to do for the rest of your day. I know it's about quarter to ten here in South Australia. Is that about right? Uh, nearly ten, no, ten o'clock. Wow. And 12.30 or one o'clock or something in reasonable time in the United Kingdom. I don't know how they're going in America, but thank you all for joining us. 
So this next song is about transformation. This is a song about transformation. Um, it's called Run With The Wild and it's followed by a bonkers tune that Paul wrote called um, The Dancing Hair. So I'd like to dedicate this to my gorgeous Grove, the wind harp group here in South Australia. Skin. I am reborn, it's to the wild that I am sworn to the wild I am returning. I run with hoof, I run with horn, I shed my skin. I am reborn, it's to the wild that I am sworn to the wild I am returning. I run with hoof, I run with horn, I shed my skin. I am reborn, it's to the wild that I am sworn.
Run with the Wild and Dancing Hair. You're all hanging on in there. We've probably overrun time a little bit. We're always like that. We start chatting and moving fires and things, and then we're out of time. And chasing moths. <laughs> so this, this is a nod for our lovely friends in the Northern Hemisphere. It's not our Beltane song, but it's, it's for the lovely season, for this season. Quick mix. I'd have been enjoying watching all, just looking at all your posts on Facebook of the, the lovely spring flowers and everything that's happening over there. The Adelaide Hills are looking beautiful here at the moment. All the, all the European trees are wearing their dresses of gold and red and the eucalypts are shimmering, so it's quite beautiful here at the moment. Mother Nature is really loving this time, isn't she? She's getting such a rest with this uh, strange virus that's out there. Two, three, four. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
kind of weird, you know, sitting playing. We don't do that very often, do no, we? we don't. It's, it's quite weird. strange, really. But, um, so we're going to finish up now. So thank you, everybody, for joining us. Oh, directly towards you sorry. We're losing you. Are you losing me? Yes. Okay, sorry about that. Thank, um, thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight at our first Spiral 3 concert. Paul, our drummer, and Nigel, our bass player, we do miss you very much, and hopefully we'll be back together with playing music with you very, very soon. In the meanwhile, the three of us are working on new songs, which is really fabulous. So, um, yes, yeah, so Beltane blessings to all of our lovely friends and family in the Northern Hemisphere and to our family and friends here in the Southern Hemisphere. We'll be thinking of you at this time as the nights are getting, short, getting shorter and the days are drawing in and it's cold and it's getting dark and, and the shift's definitely here for Sal and the veil is definitely thin. So we're going to finish off with... Um, we're going to invite Samsung to come and play with us. Well, we haven't um, got our bass player and our drummer with us. We them. haven't got our... We, we do have them, but they're in a little box. They're in a box. Over, they're in a box over there. So, um, so we're going to finish up with this song now and I would like to dedicate this song to um, Martina and Alan in uh, County Armagh in Northern Ireland. So this is for you, Martina, if you're watching, I think you are. And we'll see you all at some stage. The spirits of this place have whispered me a song With the north wind in the she-oak trees when the summer days are long With the greening of the hills when the winter rains have come And I know they're telling me it's to this land that I belong Between the rivers and the plains His body 
Blessed be everybody, and we'll see you next time. Thank yeah, you thank all. you so much for dialing in, and we'll look at all your messages, and we'll try to reply and love them all. And we love thanks you. Thanks for your How generosity. Bye bye. Love you lots. <laughs>